thank you for coming. On March 21st, we stood here asking for your help to prevent the spread of COVID-19. At that time, Yakima County had 10 positive cases. Today, we would like to update our community on where we are in this pandemic and what's ahead of us here in the Yakima Valley. I would like to introduce CEO and President Carol Peet. She will be followed by Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Marty Brueggemann, and then Renee Adams with the Memorial Foundation. Good morning, I'm Carol Pete, President and CEO of Virginia Mason Memorial. Tomorrow is April 8th, the day our projections showed Virginia Mason Memorial would have more critical patients than we could handle. Our projections indicated that patients would die not only of COVID-19, but of chronic illnesses because we would not have enough resources to care for them. I am here today to say thank you and tell you, you are making a difference. Here is where we stand today. The rate of infection for people in Yakima County who have been tested is decreasing from 26% to 20%. However, projections show that by the time the outbreak starts to decline, almost 100,000 of us in Yakima County will have been infected. The death rate of those with COVID-19 is 2.3% in Yakima County, which is high when compared to the global rate of 1.4%. Currently, almost a third of our patients in the hospital are either COVID-19 positive or persons under investigation. Within our community, COVID-19 has been spreading swiftly through high-risk groups such as our senior care centers. We need your help now more than ever, and today we strongly urge you to continue to stay home and stay apart. We expect these next few weeks to be the worst of the pandemic for us here in the Yakima Valley. Today, we stand prepared to meet this challenge unprecedented in our lifetime. Over the past three weeks, we have increased our stock of supplies and ventilators and redeployed frontline workers as we staff up to treat more critical patients during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Governor Ensley has extended the state's stay at home order through May 4th, which is critical in our fight against spreading the virus. We can continue to stay home and stay apart, and we must do this to save lives. Remember, the worst of this pandemic is ahead of us. These next few weeks are predicted to be some of the most challenging in terms of increased infections. The battle is not over, but I can say with confidence that we are not alone. Together, with your help and our partners at the Yakima Health District, the Department of Health, and the arrival of the National Disaster Relief Team, we stand prepared to care for our community as this virus reaches its peak. Who's coming to save Yakima? You are. We are, all of us together, as we stay home and stay apart. Good morning. I'm Dr. Marty Brueggemann. I'm an emergency medicine doctor and I serve as the Chief Medical Officer of Virginia Mason Memorial. We, the doctors of Virginia Mason Memorial, strongly urge our friends and families in the Yakima Valley to continue to stay home and stay apart. Prevention is our only hope. We need your help to beat this pandemic. On Saturday, we passed the 300 mark for positive cases of COVID-19 in Yakima County. Today, just three days later, well, we are approaching 400. 12 people have died. Virginia Mason Memorial, the Yakima Health District, the Department of Health, and our community partners have proactively implemented measures to limit transmission, but these efforts cannot be enough. 
we need to stay home and stay apart to help all of us here in Yakima stay COVID free. We are flattening the COVID-19 curve and we can continue to do so. Like our governor has said, we will not accept unnecessary deaths in the Yakima Valley. Our projections show that even a 25% reduction of transmission will save many, many lives. We cannot stop COVID-19. Uh, there is no vaccination, there's no treatment. We need you to keep up your isolation efforts to help slow the spread. We know this is a hardship and we know what we're asking of you, but we cannot protect and save Yakima without your help. Prevention remains our only weapon against COVID-19. Staying home and staying apart from each other remains the only tool we have to stop the spread. And for the past 70 years, we have been committed to our community. We are committed now, and we will be here to care for you after we have beaten this pandemic. Stay home and stop the spread of COVID-19. Thank you. My name is Renee Adams, and I'm with the Memorial Foundation. The Memorial Foundation supports the programs and services of Regina Mason Memorial, and today we want to tell you thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity, for your passion, and for your time. And we know that the Yakima Valley community comes together when there's a need. And we are so grateful and we are so appreciative. We asked for masks and you came out in hundreds. And soon we will have thousands of masks to be able to protect our healthcare providers. You've brought food and gift cards for our, our, our frontline providers and our, our healthcare workers, and we are so grateful. Thank you for making this community wonderful and generous and great, and we appreciate you, and we're grateful for your support. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Dr. Brian Padilla from the Emergency Department here at Memorial, and I'm urging everybody to stay home, stay apart, and stay healthy to keep others healthy as well. Soy el Dr. Tani Davenport, y tu salud y bienestar me importan. Quédate en casa, guarda tu distancia, mantente a salvo. Yo soy Patrick Moran, uno de los médicos de Virginia Mason Memorial. Su bienestar me importa. Por favor, quédese en su casa, guarde su distancia y manténgase a salvo. Good morning, I'm Dr. Rob Williams, Chief of Hospital Medicine at Virginia Mason Memorial. And I have a very simple message for you. Please stay home stay apart and stay safe. Thank you. I'm Kim Bersing, Director of Emergency Services and I care about all of you, which is why I'm asking you to stay home, stay apart and stay safe. Buenos días, mi nombre es Berta López, Directora de Programa de Salud del Hospital Memorial. Y tu salud y tu bienestar me importan. Quédate en casa para prevenir COVID-19. Hola, mi nombre es Lili González y soy trabajadora de salud. Y tu salud y tu bienestar me importan. Solo tú puedes prevenir COVID-19. I'd like to thank everyone for coming today and for listening to this important life-saving message for our community. Like everyone has said here today, we need your help. We can't do this without you, but let's do this together. Thank you for coming. <laughs>